What is up, Coratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till by late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Vapid Stainier. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from a server San Andreas website for $10,000, or of course you can get off the street for free. However, I do want to mention right out of the gate here guys that this vehicle basically offers no visual customization unfortunately. But anyways, the stain your name was first introduced in GTA 5. However, this car model was first featured in GTA 4 as a taxi and of course the police cars which we also have in GTA 5 as well, the taxi and those police cars, um, and the unmarked cruiser as well, which is one of my favorites. Now in terms of performance, the Stainier is in the Sedans class, and is around mid-pack in that class around the pace of the Washington and the Astrope, which is to be expected. But anyways, in terms of what the Stainier is based on, it's primarily based on the 1990s Ford Crown Victoria, with some subtle styling elements from the last generation Crown Victoria as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Stainier. What can we do to it? All right, Stainier. What are you after? Okay, we got armor, brakes, engine, horn. Um, I guess this is kind of reveal the, the build I'm gonna do, but <laughs> cop horn. I know a lot of people do the cop builds with this, but to me that's really the only good looking build on this. Anything else just looks weird to me, but um, headlights will keep the stocks, uh, plates will keep it with a white background. I don't think I have a good plate for this, not that I can remember. Um, hmm. So just put my America plate, I put that on like any American car build, so <laughs> we'll keep that. All right, respray. Let's put a mat to get rid of the pearl, um, and then we're gonna throw our crew black on there. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, especially um, when we do the uh, dark tints and all that. I think it's gonna look great. Um, and you can see the difference here: the regular black versus the crew black. A crebulum for this car goes in the hood. Okay. Transmission, turbo, wheels so for this you want to go to the either the muscle or the low rider category either one of the two um, and then you want to go here to what is it the classic rods these right here especially we paint the outer edge in black boom looks just like a cop car right now absolutely fantastic now for those of you who have benny's wheels glitched on normal cars uh the benny's uh, smoothie in black that will look the closest to an actual cop car so uh, for those of you that do that, that's definitely an option, but if you don't do any glitched wheel stuff, this is your option here, um, your best option to me if you want that cop car look, is the classic rods. Um, Alright, continuing to windows, black them out, and that's it. Not bad. It, it, I mean, it looks like a cop car, right? <laughs> at least to me. <laughs> now obviously we do have the uh, unmarked cruiser stain here in GTA, that thing is absolutely amazing I, I wish we could own that but unfortunately we can't so all we can do is try to pretend to maybe be like an undercover uh, cop car with this um, yeah maybe like one of those in the movies where they they stick the lights on the dash or whatever <laughs> so okay exits a ground for a drive this thing really needs visual customization though a um, couple hood options maybe a spoiler some exhaust something but in its regular form, it doesn't look too bad either. Now, this interior is used also on like the Dilettante, the um, Fugitive, the Buffalo, um, and of course all the taxi and cop car variants. Uh, but it's not like overused. I think it's only in like ten different cars, so not bad. Not like the sedan interior, for example, which is used in countless cars. It's <laughs> definitely overused this one not so much so I guess that adds somewhat of a little bit of a, uh, exclu exclusivity to it <laughs> yeah this this thing looks sick all right let's floor it here rear wheel drive of course it gets going nice and quick 
Oh yeah, picking up speed real good. Handling very responsive, surprisingly responsive. I like it. He yeah, takes this corner. Not bad. Very stable there. Let's take this corner up here. Oh. Wow, this actually handles a lot better than I thought it would. And it's pretty quick too, all things considering. And now what I think about it, I mean, technically you can't... Uh, let's say you could own a cop car as a Pegasus vehicle, right? Technically, you really... That car just... You guys saw that, right? That car spawned. It literally spawned there. What the heck was that? <laughs> it spawned. Hello, you spawned there. Okay. And this guy's making a... What? What is that? An illegal U-turn? Yeah, traffic's going nuts right now in GTA. Okay. But as I was saying, um, even if you could... Uh, buy it as a Pegasus vehicle, the cop car variants, a Mark Cruiser, Mark Cruiser, whatever, you probably still wouldn't be able to, to modify it with internal performance mods. So technically, um, this would still be the fastest variant out of all the uh, the stain the base stainers. So that, that, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is nice. I like the fact that it's rear-wheel drive. Um, the handling is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. I don't know, it, it feels more stable on the cop car, maybe it's a placebo effect, but it's definitely faster with those internal performance mods, I can tell you that. Look at that. We are flying right now. Obviously the speedometers in first person are, or in GTA are inaccurate for most interiors, but I mean, not bad. Look at that. I'm impressed. I, I am genuinely... <laughs> Impress. I didn't. I didn't think it would be that good. All right. Let's pull over here. Open all the doors and stuff. Oh man. Oh scratches on there. Thankfully the uh, LS mechanic will probably fix that for a hundred bucks. So that's good. <laughs> okay. Um, vehicle doors. Let's go all. Engine model there. I mean, it kind of sounds sort of like a V8. I know the, the real Crown Vix had the, uh, the V8s, but this is an inline four engine model, and the texture quality is absolutely terrible, but that's to be expected in OG cars. Interior there, we already talked about. Lots of trunk space, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I genuinely like it. I, I think it's definitely worth uh, owning this in your garage if you have extra space. You can use it for like role play or whatever. You know, you have your sort of undercover cop car on demand. And yes, I know it's a lot of people do the cop car builds with this. You're probably gonna say, "Oh, you should have done something different for the customization." But to me, anything else again, it just looks weird or wrong. I don't know. Or maybe white if you wanted to look like a cop car without stickers. But I don't know. This thing in black with these wheels. I mean, it just it, it it's just. That's the way it, it was like intended to be, <laughs> if you catch my drift. I don't know. I, I think it's a, a very cool car, especially when you customize it this way. Otherwise, to me, it just looks weird. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. We haven't done the regular Buffalo yet, um, and that one does have some visual customization. So, yeah, if you guys want to see that one next, let me know. But... Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.